Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy X Unit Only Challenge. I got through the uh, 10 games for our uh, Blitz Ball so we could get a Teleport Sphere. I did also play a tournament, Waka learned his second overdrive, not important, but I did do that. So I'm gonna now customize that uh, break rod that we were that we have from earlier. We're gonna add evade and counter to it, so stone touch evade counter makes it defender. So and then we're gonna equip you know with that she already has it on. Uh, we're going to equip this guy because of the lightning proof so that we can uh, continue on into the Thunder Plains. Now, in the Thunder Plains, there are, there's basically one important thing that we need to do here, which is dodge 100 lightning bolts, not 200, just the 100. Uh, the fights here should not be difficult at all because you have evade and counter and because you have the lightning proof. So, that should negate almost everything that you're facing. I don't recommend unlocking the... Um, I do not recommend unlocking those uh, cactars because those are the things that can do 1000 damage to you. It's not terrible, but if you were to get two or three of them, that would be a problem. Now, these bwares that you can see here, they are pretty much the only thing here that can really hurt us because of that uh, confusion chance. So that could end up being a problem, but it's going to be pretty straightforward here. Just attack the things that are, uh, are killable, and if you don't really want to, then just run away from everything else like I just did there. Um, the dodging of 100 lightning bolts, I'll show you where is the best place to do that as well. Now, you can also spend some time farming for initiative weapons. That is, if you do unlock the uh, Cactars. So that is an option that you have as well, which if you can get one for Titus or Riku or someone that will be there in Beaconel Island, then that would be a, uh, a benefit to you once you get there, because if you get ambushed there, you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble, so... That's something worth doing if you uh, if you're worried about that coming up. So again, I'm just going to kill off the things that can be stone touched and then continue on just because of uh, time's sake. Safe sphere here. So I'm going to skip the video ahead. This is probably going to be a sh short video, but I'm going to skip the video ahead to uh, the place that I like to dodge. Uh, lightning bolts. Well, I don't. I never like to dodge lightning bolts, but the place where it's the easiest. So I'll catch up with you guys there. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy X Yuna Only Challenge. I did jump a little bit farther ahead because I wanted to show you exactly where this spot is for dodging lightning, and it's going to be fairly straightforward, just like the way I try to keep everything for you. But you want to end up right around in this area, just to the south of these two craters here. Then, um, it's okay for you to get in fights in between, that's fine, but you do want to do it so that you can, um, so that basically between fights you have a chance to dodge a few lightning bolts. So, let me get out of this fight real quick for you. And the way the lightning works in this spot is that it's going to come in pairs. So there's going to be one, two. Basically that second bolt comes right after the animation ends for the first one. So one, and two. And it's much easier to dodge two in a row and 50 groups of that. So three, four. And then after that second bolt, you want to run back to that same spot so that you can keep reaping the benefits. You don't want to move in between bolts because there's a chance you'll get in a fight and you um, don't want to do that in between bolts because then coming out of the fight there's going to be a lightning bolt and you may very well miss it. So you just want to press the X button for the first one, press it for the second one, and then move. So pretty straightforward. Again, don't worry too much about these fights. The only thing that you're, is really dangerous at this point though is that dude that can confuse you, the one in the middle in this fight. So. Um, you do want to be a little bit careful of that guy. If you have something with initiative on any one of your characters except for Yuna, 
go ahead and add that on. And um, I'm up to eight dodges now, so I'm gonna pause it here. Once I'm done, I will go pick those up and we'll go over some sphere grid stuff. Okay, everyone, I have now dodged 200 lightning, no, not 200, 100, and I believe eight consecutive lightning bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure I did that properly. I then followed that by not dodging a few, so I would have to start over if that were the case. So let's see. All about lightning. Let's read it. 121 lightning bolts have struck. 108 bolts totally dodged. They were all in a row, so we have broken the 100. And they would like to present... What is this book over here? Oh, no, we're not reading that. Okay, so let's get our prizes. One at a time. Ether. Um, you do get an ether for being hit by 30 lightning bolts. Blah, blah, blah. Elixir. That you get for being hit by 80 lightning bolts, which seems a little strange that I got that. I don't think I shouldn't have gotten that. Five in a row, X potions. Two of them. Ten in a row, Mega Potions, two of them. Sorry, I should have let that go. Twenty in a row! Two MP Spheres, which we will not be using for a while. We have plenty of mana. Fifty in a row, three Strength Spheres. That's the first thing that we wanted. And the second thing that we wanted is this hundred in a row, which is going to be three health spheres and that should be it now if you were to continue doing this if you got to 150 you get a uh, four mega elixirs and if you get to 200 you get the venus sigil which is part of lulu's celestial weapon but we're not using lulu so that doesn't matter so i'm going to jump forward to the makalania woods Hello everyone, welcome back to the game. I wanted to show you this fight because of the blue element there. It does have, um, oops, wasn't supposed to do that, but that's okay. That blue element does water damage, which is actually going to be a little bit of a problem, only because it's not something we're used to. Now, if you have that ring equipped that I customized lightning proof on, the one that has SOS Null Tide and Fire Ward, you're going to get down to your SOS status and then you're not going to take any damage from that guy anymore. So I'll show you that in just a moment here once I finish off this guy. But you can continue just to attack that water element. If you've got a lightning strike weapon that'll go a little bit faster so that would help. But uh, and, and it also, it can drop a Water Strike weapon, so that can be helpful for the boss coming up, but it's not terribly required here. As you can see there, I'm immune to that because I am in the uh, less than health, half health. I'm going to run away from this fight here because I do want to show you a little bit of stuff in the menus before we go on. Um, let's start off with the Sphere Grid. I picked up a few items that I want to note. First of all... I picked up an MP Sphere from doing uh, the Butterfly game. Thus, if you complete both of the Butterfly games before you do this next boss, you will get first an Ether and then an MP Sphere. So that's where I got that third one of those after the uh, Lightning Dodging. Uh, if you do it after you complete the next boss, you'll get two Elixirs and then two Mega Elixirs, but those aren't terribly valuable to us. And then after you have the airship in your possession and you can control where you're going, you get other benefits from that as well. But we're not going to worry about that because the only real reason to do that is if you're doing Himari's uh, Celestial Weapon. So we are going to be using Strength Spheres first. We're going to try to get those all filled in because, um, again, that boss coming up is going to require as much strength as we can put in here. So as you can see, we have the three. I just used the one of them, so there's two left. So I'll use one here and one here. And then we'll start using those health spheres, and then we'll start using the MP spheres last. So that's going to be, that's the plan there. Now, um, at this point in the game, we do want to level all the way to Holy. You can do that either before or after this boss, but I at least recommend that you get the um, 
the health spheres, or not the health, the strength spheres done before you do this next boss. And then if you are still not comf if you're still not done leveling the holy level afterwards. And the best best place to level that is here in the Makalania Woods. So that's uh, that's something I wanted to mention. Now the other thing is again this equipment. As you can see, we have this stone touch and evade and counter. That's pretty much negated every physical attack in the game. And having this armor on, the fire ward, SOS null tide, and lightning proof gives us a resistance to fire and an immunity to two other elements. Of course, you know, one of them requires being at half health or less, but that's not a big deal. So, um, for the boss coming up, you do want to try to have at least one of each kind of element. Now, I do not have a rod of ice, which is a little bit disappointing. And uh, if you are really having trouble with this next boss, you do want to come back and uh, and deal with that and go get one of those ice strike weapons. Some of the characters that you can buy something like that. So uh, one other thing I want to get to before I cut off this video, it may be a little bit of a long video. So you can see here I've got two of those water things, and since I'm in critical status, they would do no damage. The only thing that could that could do any damage would be that little bug. But of course, evade encounter takes care of him. You can, you, I think you're starting to see how this is going. The other thing that can basically make you immune to damage taken is Reflect, but of course if you cast that when you're fighting um, elementals that use their same kind of elemental attack, then that's also dangerous. So the other thing I wanted to mention here is Owaka right here. Welcome. You want Holiday to uh, talk to him first, pick got any weapons, and then immediately cancel, say that he's being too pricey, because then when you talk to him a second time, the cost on those weapons goes down. So what we want to buy is this Sonic Steel. First Strike is going to be very important. We'll go ahead and equip that. That Slow Touch weapon was very useful, but um, we're about done with it now. This Dark Touch weapon, useless. Ice Ball, that'd be a great way to get Ice Strike for Waka if you need it. Uh, Shimmering Blade, not really useful. That one's not useful. That one is hardly useful. Yeah, so... Really, that Sonic Steel is the only thing we want to buy here, but we do want to buy it so that once we get to places where Yuna is not available, oh Titus will always go first, so. Alright, and that's it. So, the next video I'm going to show you this uh, fight with Spheromorph and a couple of strategies you can use there, so. I will cut this video off and hope to see you all on the next one.